Hello everyone, hello, hello. Happy greetings to you wherever you are. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Jennifer from Personal Power Wellness Coaching and today we have a segment in the kitchen. Thanks for tuning in. As you can see, we are here in the kitchen and next to our juicer. So let's see if we can get an angle. So there you see the melon. This is the melon that we have to work with. And I'm going to cut it up into some more easily. Although this melon, if you can tell, is already very, very soft to cut. Very easy to cut, in fact. And I can even bring you a tad closer, maybe. But in any case, that's what we've got. I'm just going to cut it up into some smaller pieces and that way it'll just be ready to input into the machine. So I'm going to angle that a bit upwards. And yeah, I think it's ready to go. And if you have your own juicer, this is what you can do as well. This is probably what you do. And uh, yeah, this is the typical process. I'm going to remove this strainer because I think there's no need for that. And this particular melon is called Sweet Melon. And yeah, we've already got some action going here. Hi, Karen. So let's see if I can get you inside the juicing area. You see it's coming out already through here and the pulp is coming out in the back. I'm putting that in. It's really fast this one because it's just melon. I wanted to use the melon that I had available in my fridge because this one was not that sweet actually. So that's all of that we got. pretty much. Let's have a look around. So here you'll see this is where the pulp comes out. And this is the juice that we've got. Melon is extremely liquid. It's like primarily water. So it'll come out very, very fast when you extract it. And I, I particularly prefer to use the slow rotating machines rather than the fast centrifugal machines. If you know your juicers, you um, probably know what I'm talking about. There are different machines on the market and there are ones that are very fast rotating. They spin very quickly, but they also heat up the liquid that you're extracting. So some of the enzymes technically are killed in the process. And when you're juicing, the purpose of it is to extract the juices and the nutrients and to maintain their freshness and vitality so that you can then drink that in. But if you're rotating at very high speeds, you heat up the liquid, whatever that may be, and hence, um, technically, you would be sort of reducing the overall potentially higher benefit. But you're still getting some benefit, for sure. It's just going to be at a slightly reduced uh, capacity. And so this is the melon. This was about 300 and I would say 330 grams of original solid melon. And this will be about less than a cup, in fact. This will be less than a, and actually I wanna share a tip because you can actually juice melon rind if you didn't know. And I will show you that I have another melon. I had bought some uh, sliced melon from the local markets called Spinney's, but I will say it was not all that sweet. And for me, I really have a melon every day. And when it's not ideally sweet, that is a bit disappointing because um, I think that melons are just like this divine fruit that is so simple and water rich. But if it's simple, like in taste, you're not getting the full flavor, then you're just not enjoying it. And then, I mean, it's just like, there's no point in going forward with that fruit, you know, because it's a, it's a natural fruit from mother nature. It's not artificial, it's not processed, no chemicals, no additives. It's just a fruit 
so um, you want it to taste good. So this is the melon that I bought at Spinney's and oh, <laughs> fell out on the skin side. So this is a honeydew and it was not all that grand to be honest. So um, you can actually juice the skin of melons and that will reduce the sweetness of your juice in case you're someone who doesn't want a very sweet juice melon juice can be quite sweet in fact um so that's a tip you can actually juice it including watermelon watermelon you can put that into your machine and the machine should do the good job so what i'm going to do is i'm going to rinse this one off because it just fell out and i'm going to pop it in and just to show you that you can actually juice skin of melon and it's going to extract but you want to wash it well right because if it's been dirty on the outside then that would be um less desirable so don't do that I, that would not be my recommendation you want to wash it well and if you feel very squeamish about including a skin in general then just uh, you know peel it like shave it off cut it off uh, knife it off um, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to rinse it and just dry a bit, putting it back on our cutting board right there. And I'm going to bring this down. Let's pop it downwards, downward angle, downward dog. <laughs> and so this is the melon. That's right. And let's take another one. We can take this other piece. This is another melon piece with the skin. Honeydew melon, which is the different kind of melon from the other melon that I just juiced. The other one was more orange, yellow in color, and it's called the sweet melon. I think it was a local melon, like local from the UAE because in the UAE they have this type of melon. So let's do that. Let's pop it into the machine. And it's gonna be uh, something, something different. So turn on the machine. It's gonna be a little bit louder, the sound of the extraction, but it's still coming out. I'll just pop those in. some of that liquid is being fully extracted so we can at least go for one cup and what I'll show you is something cool is that when you include the skin in your juice the skin will be coming out right there so you can see that and it helps to dry up the pulp of it so that your machine does not get so slushy and like kind of it loses its its texture because that's actually something that happens a lot when you're juicing is if you're juicing very very um liquidy types of fruits they will get like soft ones they will get pulpy even inside the rotation mechanism device so that then means that you may need to wash the machine midway through the process which is inconvenient for sure and it also extends your whole time in the kitchen so we don't want that Nobody wants to be in the kitchen longer than they want to or need to. And uh, that's, that's another thing. So when you include the skin of the melon in your juice, or the skin of most fruits that are like not going to damage the machine, they're going to give all of the ingredients you're putting in a little bit more texture and solidity. And that way, the juice will be able to continue to be extracted um, but you're not having to think about washing the machine midway because inside it's getting too slushy and mixed up and then the machine is no longer able to extract additional fruits or veggies that you include. So um, that's that. So it happened and the flavor will be just as great, I believe. And if it's not, that's fine too because it doesn't have to be like a mega sugar bomb. Uh, I'm going to get a serving cup. Let's serve it up in here. 
So we'll put that there. Righto. So what we've got, let me see if I can give you an even better angle. Oh, well, that's not going to work. <laughs> Let's just keep it like so. Okie dokie. You see that? So, this is the juice. Serving it up. A little bit left over. And I'm going to take a straw. And let's give it a taste test. All right. Hmm. It's very mild. Yep, it really is very mild, my friends, because the original melon pieces we were working with were not all that sweet to begin with. So this is the kind of juice where it's not that sweet, but you're getting all the antioxidants, the nutrients, the vitamin C, the potassium, the vitamin A um, from the, the color of the melon itself because the first piece of melon was kind of orange in color, like a cantaloupe or rock melon. So this will definitely be very good for your skin, for your elasticity, for the collagen in your skin. Also, it's great for your immune system because it's high in vitamin C. It has vitamin A. It has antioxidants. So it helps to just give you vitality. It's water rich, so it'll keep you hydrated. And it is perfect for the warm summer months. It's actually a very light juice. I think it would rank among the juices with the least amount of caloric value, if that's your concern. Um, just because melons are the lowest calorie fruit in the range of fruits. And so, well, if that is, if I think, if you're not counting um, cucumber and tomatoes, but that depends on your classification of those, um, of those items, of those foods. But uh, this melon juice came out super nice. It's fresh, like hot off the juice machine. Yeah. And another tip is um, melon juice will taste divine if you add like some splash of lemon or lime. It doesn't have to be juiced. It can just be, you know, you just squeeze it into your juice and it's going to be super. Um, so that's it for today. Yeah, melon juice, fresh melon juice. My first um, homemade juice here in the new apartment. And uh, thank you for joining and, and uh, partaking in this fabulous experience. And hopefully it's the beginning of many more good juicing and other positive moments to be shared and celebrated in both our lives. So thanks for tuning in. Let me know if you make your own juices, what your favorite combos are, and uh, let's keep the good healthy vibes strong and alive because there's a lot of temptation in the world. There's so much highly processed, super delicious, highly palatable, um, hyper artificial processed food that has a lot of sugar, fat, and salt combined. And it's just like so hard to overcome those temptations sometimes. So in the face of that, let's continue to do the healthy things too so that you stay on a track where you are trending trending in the direction of the more like the more beneficial behaviors that you want to celebrate and increase and that it will diminish more and more the strength of the unbeneficial undesirable even harmful habits attitudes and um food and drink behaviors that we all have so it's just a matter of what are you doing more of, what are you giving more of your time towards, and um, 
what are you eating? Just like, what are you actually eating and drinking? Because that is the source of our medicine. And um, we just need to, you know, bear that in mind and do our best in this very mysterious, complex, rich, and dynamic world that we live in. So um, let's keep on moving forward. Wishing you the very best. The juice came out well. Thank you for being with me to make it. And I'll see you soon. Bye everyone from Jen at Personal Power Wellness. And thanks for tuning in. Bye.